Televangelist Pat Robertson uh, usually runs a segment on his show, The 700 Club, where he takes questions from the audience. Now, there was one specific question from a uh, from an elderly woman that had sent on that had been sent to him, uh, where he gives some rather dubious advice. Let's take a listen. Maria writes, I have been a 700 Club partner for many years. I am 67 years old and still working because retirement money does not cover our basic expenses. I was thinking about a reverse mortgage but have doubts. What do you think? All right, here's the deal on reverse mortgages. Uh, they will not take your house away from you as long as you are alive and live in it. Uh, when you do leave, uh, uh, you don't have to pay it off. But somebody has to pay it off, namely the United States taxpayer. So it's not a good deal for the taxpayers, but for most people it's a pretty good deal. But you need to analyze uh, what you're talking about and get, some, get an advisor to help you on it. But it could be a good deal for you. Okay, so Pat Robertson actually giving some financial advice to somebody. And actually, kind of, some of it's kind of sound. Oh, you need to look into it. Don't just hastily get a reverse mortgage or anything like that. Oh, look into it. Talk to an advisor. That's actually, I looked it up, and that's actually what they tell you to do if you're even going to think about that. But see, Pat Robertson misses the point of this. Intentionally, I think. Because he's saying, oh, you should do this so you can keep paying me. Now, being a 700 Club partner cost $240 a year for a quote-unquote basic membership where you can get a whereas you can get a chairman circle membership for 10 grand a year and so of course he's going to be like yeah get a reverse mortgage so you can keep paying me whereas the obvious problem here and I can and I feel for the poor woman because she thinks that actually giving him giving Pat Robertson her money is going to actually actually help her right but it's not going to help her but she points out a very important issue I'm on retirement. I'm 67 years old. I'm on retirement and I still have to work because I don't get enough money to survive. That's what Pat Robertson should have been talking about. <laughs> That's what Pat Robertson should have focused on. Instead, he's like, oh, no, no, you should get a reverse mortgage. You talk to guy about a reverse mortgage and whatever. So you can keep giving me money. Because that's what Pat Robertson is. Pat Robertson is a scam artist. And so, of course, he wants to continue receiving his money and duping his listeners. It's amazing to me. People give him money. People who can barely afford their own standard of living. I feel for these people. They call me a bleeding heart lib, but really, Pat Robertson is making tons of money. He's a very, very wealthy man. And you're giving him your hard-earned money. You're working and you're on social security disability, or not disability, but you're on social security retirement, and you can't make the money, you can't make the bills, and you're worried about how you can, how much money you can give Pat Robertson. Religion, man, this is what religion makes people do. Oh, it's crazy, and I and I feel for. Her. He should have at least been like, nah, dude, save your money. Save your, save your money. Pay your bills. I can get along without you. I got Jesus, after all. Jesus is my homeboy. He'll take care of me. And he'll take care of you, too. Don't worry about it. If Pat Robertson were a decent human being, that's what he would say. But, as we all know, Pat Robertson is not a decent human being.